Eric Ten Hag has ordered his players to have one-to-one -one sessions with him to mend Manchester United's broken dressing room, Sunsport exclusively revealed. The under-pressure boss wants to know from each player what issues they have with him, his staff, teammates, and training in a series of clear-the-air meetings today and tomorrow. Meanwhile, Man United's injury crisis worsened against Newcastle, as Casemiro picked up another problem. On the time scale of the Brazilian's injury, Ten Hag said, we have to wait 24 hours, but I think definitely for Saturday, he is out. So, Manchester United reportedly have a three-man shortlist to strengthen their attack in January. The Red Devils have struggled for goals this season with Marcus Rashford, the only recognized forward in the squad with a Premier League goal to his name. Rasmus Hoyland has scored three goals in Europe since his blockbuster summer arrival, but it is understood the club are keen to sign a striker to support the young Dane. It is felt there is too much of a burden on Hoyland's young shoulders to score goals, and United feel he could learn from playing alongside an experienced frontman. According to the Daily Mail, United already have several targets in mind who they could try to sign when the transfer window reopens. One is long-term target, Napoli striker Victor Osimhen, who finished as Serie A's top goal scorer last season. Napoli slapped a huge asking price on the Nigerian in the summer, but a recent fallout means they may now be more willing to listen to offers. If not, the Red Devils could splash out on Brentford star Ivan Toney, who will be free from his gambling ban. However, recent reports claim the Bees could demand pound 100 million to let the England international leave. And with United also keen to sign a world-class centre-back like Edmund Tapsoba or Jean-Claire Tadebo, they could decide to bring in a striker on a budget. Porto hitman Mehdi Taremi is also understood to be on the club's radar. The Iranian, 31, is out of contract at the end of the season and was linked with a move to Old Trafford in the summer. On the other side, Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani's failed bid for Man United could see him invest in Premier League rival West Ham, reports suggest. The Times report Qatar could go and buy the 10% stake in the Hammers put up for sale by Vanessa Gold, the daughter of late joint chairman David Gold. Again, welcome again. back again. Manchester United fans sent Sir Jim Ratcliffe warning amid ongoing takeover uncertainty. Ineos, led by Sir Jim Ratcliffe, are poised to secure a 25% stake in Man United. Former Manchester United centre-back Mikel Silvestre has suggested that patience will be required if Ineos secures a 25% stake in the club. It is understood the chemical giant, led by British billionaire Sir Jim Ratcliffe, is edging closer to securing investment in the club, believed to be worth £1.3 billion. Ineos is the leading contender after Qatari banker Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani withdrew from the takeover race last month. Ineos already has investments in elite-level sport, including football, purchasing French side OGC Nice back in 2019. Under their stewardship, the League One club has made gradual progress, currently finding themselves top of the League One table this season, one point ahead of Paris Saint-Germain. Nice supporters have shown signs of discontent towards Ineos and Ratcliffe in recent years, though with many believing progress should have been quicker and more forthcoming because of the financial clout available to them. However, Sylvestre, who spent nine years at Old Trafford, believes the company is still finding its feet in the world of sport highlighting why patience will be needed if they strike a deal with the Glazers. When you have clubs like Lyon, Bordeaux, Saint-Étienne, who are monsters in the history of French football, it is difficult, said Sylvestre, speaking to bettingexpert.com. Bordeaux is down, Saint-Étienne is down, and Lyon are last in the table. So if you look at this perspective, they've done okay at Nice. But yes, they're still learning about this specific sport. They've got experience in other domains, and you can transfer that knowledge, but football is a different beast. Coming from France to Man United, everything is different. From the history of the club, to the magnitude, the status, and the expectations. There will be a learning process because if you're thrown at the deep end like this, it's extremely challenging. A lot of anger and frustration has been vented towards Ineos and Ratcliffe during their premiership at Nice so far, mainly because they have not chucked as much money at new players as most supporters would have wished for. However, Sylvestre has pointed out the strict financial rules in place in French football. He added, 
Look, Nice, this season, they're doing well. On the other side, Sunsport has taken a look at the seven managers that could replace Eric Ten Hag should he be sacked as Manchester United manager. Graham Potter currently leads the race, and it is understood prospective owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe is a fan of the Englishman. Also in the frame are Roberto De Zerbi, Zinedine Zidane, and Diego Simeone. Meanwhile, Eric Ten Hag admits he understands those who have criticized him. However, he asserted his confidence in being able to turn results around. He said, I understand that when the results are not there, that this is also a logical process that they question the manager, he continued, but I'm confident I can do it. At all my clubs I have done it, and also last year I did it here as well. But in this moment, we are in a bad place. I take responsibility for it. I see it as a challenge. I'm a fighter, and I'm in a fight, and I have to make sure that I share responsibility with my players, and that we stick together and fight together, and get better results. Meanwhile, Eric Ten Hag has declared he is not backing away from the challenge he faces at Man United after back-to-back -back three, zero defeats to Man City and Newcastle. Speaking in his post-match press conference, he said, I'm a fighter, and I know it's not always going up. We have had a lot of setbacks this season so far, but also then you have to deal with it, and that is never an excuse. When there are setbacks, when the routines in the way of play are not similar, not the same, but even then you have to get the results in. Obviously, Sunday and tonight were far from our standards. We have to do things right and at a certain level, at a minimum level, to win games. Elsewhere. The odds on Eric Ten Hag to be the next manager to be sacked have been slashed by various bookmakers. Bettingsites.co.uk now have the manager as 6-5 to be the next to go, with the Dutchman overtaking relegation threatened Paul Heckingbottom. Neil Rorty, spokesperson for Bettingsites.co.uk, said, Eric Ten Hag was yesterday considered an outsider to be the first Premier League manager to leave their post this season at 8-1, but after last night's chastening defeat, feet to Newcastle at Old Trafford, the Dutchman is now our 6-5 favourite to depart Manchester United.